All right. Hey, babe, do you want to go red or black? Red. Red? All right, guys, we're going to get started in a couple minutes here. Make sure that you wrap up your hands. How's everyone doing? I apologize for the uh, technical difficulties. Still learning, still learning this. We're still on time. We made it. We're still on time, yes. We're still learning this YouTube thing. Good YouTube morning, Live. Everyone. So it'll take about five minutes to wrap our hands, then we're gonna warm up. <laughs> hey, I washed them. <laughs> Do you want a red or black? Mm. Okay, finally, I got it. Hey, mine are in the same boat. So today we're pretty much going to be on the heavy bag the entire time. And we're doing this as a partner workout. Ooh, but yeah. if you don't have a partner, a spouse, significant other, just a friend, we will show you alternatives. But always know we're your friend, and that's why we're here. So how are you doing? Uh, good. So excited do you, for uh, another workout. Oh yeah, I like that. Do you uh, come here often? <laughs> Never really. No. <laughs> Maybe once in a while. I haven't seen you before. Oh. Do you, do you work out? Mm, I don't know, you tell me. Nah, you look like you're okay. Oh, that's me. Maybe if we dial in your nutrition a little bit more. Uh... Ooh, that was me. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that part. <laughs> Where are you going with that? Well, I was thinking maybe I can uh, take you out to dinner and, um, yeah. Uh, if, if you're free. You could take me out for dinner, but probably you have to cook something for me. Yep, oh, you're on your own. I was thinking McDonald's $5 value meal. Uh, no! <laughs> I'll skip the part, thank you. That joke was for Danny. <laughs> see we got a couple people on a couple more people are joining who's on with us today give me a shout out let me see who's out there copyright laws but that's okay you guys can crank up your own music that you like as you work out with us Oh, and I think we got the audio fixed, uh, uh, fixed. so let us know how we sound on your end. Uh, we went out and got, purchased a special microphone just for the iPhone. We were playing around with it yesterday, seemed like it worked good. What gloves are you going with today? I was going with the red one. The red one? The small one. Oh, did you bring the white ones back in? Awesome. <laughs> I asked, what gloves would you like to use it? Well, I didn't know you were running out to your car. So, Anetta is using a pair of 16 ounce Hayabusa boxing gloves. I am also using Hayabusa 16 ounce to start out on the heavy bag. Are you going to do the let me fix that. She's using the 12 ounce. Just, just for hey, now. Hey, before you put that other glove on, can you hit the timer for me, please? Uh -huh. 
So this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna get started in about a couple seconds here. And we're gonna have a four minute warm up and then we're gonna go Getting right into time on. We're gonna go right into the heavy bag. And then we also have um, some abs that we're gonna do at the end of this. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, Anetta with me. Go ahead and let's do some jumping jacks. Oh my god, we even mentioned today. What's that? We mentioned even colors. Oh yeah. Green and green. How did we do that? Uh, I don't know. Good, from there, go ahead and put your hands on a tabletop, rotate. Make sure you're lifting the ball of your foot. And throw a punch off to the ceiling. And if you're working with a partner, make sure you don't hit him when you go up to the side. Ooh. Extend the punch. <laughs> Down at the floor, really Accident reach. Accidents happen, so anything yes. could happen. Yeah, you better put your mouth guard on. Oh, Come back no. up. <laughs> Good, from here, small circles forward. Get six feet, six feet. Yeah, you're not in the range. A little bit, a little bit bigger. Oh, bigger? <laughs> I want to change direction. <laughs> and switch directions now. Okay. Try to follow the door. Good. A little bit more. Awesome. All right, so if you have a partner, face your partner. If you don't have a partner, you can just do squats. It's going to look like this. So we're going to do the bob and weave sequence, all right? I'm going to go over Annette's head. She's going to go under. Boom. Boom. And we're just warming up. I'm not trying to trick her. I'm not trying to hit her. Watch my hair. Watch your hair. <laughs> oh, your hair. Oh. We can also do some core workout as well. Good. Oh. I might slip. A little higher for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Good. That time. So now what we're gonna do is slip. So I'm gonna go right down the center, and that is gonna slip Two. left, right. If you're at home by yourself, all you're doing is just slipping, just working with us as we're doing the same thing. You ready? Here we go. Starting with this arm, and boom. So I'm going right down the center. She doesn't move with her ball. Not mine. more, a couple more. We're both working on our form. Good, and time. Now the next one that we're going to do is we're going to incorporate both those movements. So we're going to do bob and weave, bob and weave, slip, slip. Ready? Here we go. And bob and weave, bob and weave, slip, slip. Good. Again, this is a warm up. I'm not trying to trip. Whoops. <laughs> You need to go a little lower. I am going lower. I'm doing extra low. Because <laughs> of my hair. Alright, I'm going palm down. Normally I'm going to go palm down. I just don't want to mess up and have his hair. Because we have to stop the beat. Good, <laughs> and time. Alright, now you do the same thing to me, starting with the bottom knee. Don't mess up my hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Notice that I'm going towards the strike. When she does it. Exactly, so you guys have to be patient. I'm leading the dance right now. Watch. Okay. A little bit lower, please. A little bit lower. <laughs> lower. Not to a sternium. Good, let's do the slip slip. Ready? And go. Uh, okay. No. <laughs> Alright, wait. Let's do one and go. At the bottom weave, whoa, my fault, slip, slip, bottom weave. Oh. <laughs> Again, this is what happened. All right, oh, that so was a fun part. the belt ring. All right, we're on our bags now. We're both just moving in and out. Just moving in and out. Let's start to review our basic combinations. So, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you move in, hit the bag, and then I'm going to move in and hit the bag as you move out. All right, so start with just combo number one and go. Combo number one is just our jab. Make sure those elbows run parallel to the ground. 
shoulder comes up to protect the jaw. Snap it out quick. Good, and time. We're going to go ahead and add combo number two. Combo number two is just jab cross. Five. All right, go ahead, Veneta, and lead. Remember to snap those hips towards the target. So, let's start with three air squats. We don't have a break? No, that was two minutes. Oh. You get a break after this. Okay. Focus. Five. All right, ready? Air squats. One, two, two three. Good. From there, we're going to do three sprawls. Slap across. Ready? Go down. Oop. Don't your partner's head. Two. <laughs> From here, stay down. Now we're going to do is three push-ups, slap across, ready? Down, up, punch. Down, up, down. Good. Now we're up, straight punches until you hear the beat. And time. Can you turn it up a little, please? Not loud. Good job. That was round one. You get a one minute break. What is right here? It's funny, that's the world we live in right now where if you cough, it's like in, in a public place, all of a sudden you get the death stare. All right, guys, make your way back to your bags. Here we go. And now you're going to lead us off with combo number four. Combo number four is a jab, cross, hook, cross. You'll do it. I'll hold the bag for you, and then we switch. Just tap out, so just stay in the bag because we want to hold the bag. Yeah, just stay in the bag. Just stay in the bag. Okay. Ready? And go. Combo four. Good. For me. Go! and then we'll add the rear roundhouse. So, we're gonna be going from a mid-range to a long-range weapon, so we have to step back a little bit and make some space. All right, another ready? And go. One, two, three, four, step back. Good. So, jab, cross, hook, cross, step back to make that distance, up and down, go. Make sure your hand's not in the way if you're holding for a partner. Good 
job. All right, and time. So now what we're gonna do is four of everything. All right, here we go. We're gonna start with four air squats. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Four sprawls, right, ready? We gotta have room. Yeah. One, two. and then we'll do knuckle bar. Okay. All right. struggling with the push-ups, just hold plank with us as Annette and I do our push-ups. So if you're not able to get down, just hold the plank and then do, well, that was the last one. You can do shoulder touch. Yeah, you can do shoulder touch as well. So what Annette is saying is that you Or you just lift your arm forward, however you like. Yeah, so you can touch your shoulders or you can just go down as low as you can, but avoid going to your knees if at all possible. Punch fitters over to their knees. <laughs> um, if you're struggling with the sprawls, you have a couple um, options. First one is you bring your hands down and you just walk your legs out and then come back up. Or you can turn that last squat into a squat jump. All right, you ready? All right, so from here, let's do, what's that? Yeah, let's do combo number five. Ready? And go. Jab press. So roll the three. Right uppercut to the left hook. And again, one, two, three. So right uppercut to the left hook. Ready? So we got combo five. Uh, what do we want to add? We can still do low kick, reset, and then high kick. How about that? I like that. Ah, All right, so we'll do low kick, high kick. So hold for me, Nana. Here we go. So I got jab, cross, hook, step in, hook, step out, low, reset, high, grab the bag, and go. Second target could either be the arms or the ribs. Or even the head. Good job. Step back. You might want to just use one hand when you hold things, don't kick your glove. Alright, here we go. Five air squats and go. Body shots. Body shots. 
For you do hooks, I'll do body shots. Alright. So you're going high, I'm going low. Uh, right again, go. Is he taking a 40 second snap? <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Why? Okay, we got about 23 seconds break. So, what do you want to start with? Come number six, so I'll continue. Yeah, let's stay with the sequence because we probably have some people that are new here with us today. So we're going to start with combo number six. Combo number six looks like this. It's going to be a jab, cross, hook, cross, lead uppercut, cross right afterwards. <laughs> okay. So we will go first or I'm going first? You're going first. One, two, three, four, uppercut, and then cross. Ladies first. Now you'll notice that Danette and I are riding our gloves up the bag. So there's a couple different ways you can do the uppercut. If you'd rather hit the bag, we're okay with that. I personally like to use the bag as kind of the centerpiece or the chest of my target. Ride it up to the chin and then reset. All right, ready, Danette, here we go. Good. All right, let's go ahead and add Three skip knees after this. Hi. All right. Side. What's that? I need side three. Well, yeah, so left, right, left, right. Or right, left, right, left. However you want. Okay. Ready? There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Perfect. And here I go. So what we're doing is we're adding three skip knees at the end of this combination. We've got a jab, cross, hook, cross, lead uppercut, cross, grab on. Notice I send my hips. The position of the hips to the shoulders is very important. Right now, my hips are behind my shoulders. I hit, this leg goes down, left leg goes back, hips go in front of the shoulders, foot goes down, reset, and boom. All right, go, baby. Driving those hips into the bag. Hit the bag as hard as you feel comfortable. Good. All right, so now we got six of everything. Yep. But we're gonna do a twist. So we're gonna start with the air squats. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna go down for a sprawl, uh -huh. but don't bump hands when we come up. Instead, when we come up, I want you to throw combo number three at me. So this is just a drill. Annette's goal is not to knock me out, but it helps me work on my coordination. Ready, come over, here you go. Boom, good, down. I'm gonna go three at you. Up. So we're gonna go ahead, yep. Slow down yourself. You got a target. <laughs> All right, so now what we're going to do for the next round is Annette and I are going to transition to the mitts. If you're still working on a bag, 
just do the combinations that I call out to Annetta on the bag. If you don't know the combinations, that's fine. This isn't a test. All we want to do is uh, control the pace. So if you don't know our combo number five, just throw five straight punches or five punches of your own. All right, ready, here we go. All right, and one, good. Two, four, three, five, two, six. Nice job, super proud. Three, of my training. <laughs> Give me a cross, good. So whatever Adetta does, you do at home. Cross, good, three, Five, seven, perfect. Two, let's break some ribs. Nine, good job. Nine, two, four, seven, good. From here, go ahead and give me a rear knee, a right uppercut, a left hook, and a right cross. Ready? Let's do that again. And go. Boom. 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 Good. And go. Awesome job. Three. Two. Five. From here, give me the uppercut triple. So that's going to be a rear uppercut, left hook, right cross. Ready? And go. Rear uppercut, left hook, right cross. Good. Go. We've got about 30 seconds. Now let's transition and add this to six punches, so nice and slow. Right uppercut, left hook, right cross, left uppercut, right cross, left hook, let's do it even slower. Ready, here we go. Right uppercut, left hook, right cross, left uppercut, right cross, left hook. All right, with us, ready, here we go. Uppercut, triple, and go. Nice, go. Good, too fast for me, go. I messed that up. All right. <laughs> All right, from here, ready, seven of everything. One, two, three, we're gonna do the same thing on the sprawls. Four, five, six, seven, come up. I'll throw punches first. Jab, cross, hook, ready? And up, boom, 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 good. is weak. You should have defended against that. Now this time what we're going to do is Annette is going to call out the combinations. Again, if you don't know what the combinations are, just throw that many straight punches. Now, what I need to do is I need to match my partner's intensity. What I mean by that is my goal is, to not, is not to see if I can take her hand off her wrist with my hooks or show off and try and knock her out with a punch. So instead what I'm gonna do is match her intensity. If my partner feels comfortable and says you can hit harder, I'll hit harder. But whoever you're working with, or even if you're by yourself, well I guess it doesn't matter if you're by yourself. Just follow us. <laughs> yeah, just follow us. All right, here we go. What is already? I know. Eight. Nine. Eleven. Good. Go 
always got to be ready. Two. Same thing with the sprawls, go down, go up, punch. Good. Not this fake. What was that? It was just a battle. Oh. <sighs> that was just a battle. Thought that was from the beans from last night. <sighs> no. That was not. Oh. That was just a battle right now. All right, so hopefully you guys can make it tomorrow. We're going to have another, grab your gloves, another live workout. It's going to be another one of Aneta's kettlebell workouts. So if you guys have two kettlebells, the same weight, that'll be awesome, or dumbbell. Yeah, so if you have multiple kettlebells at your disposal. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna tell Annette a body shot. When I hold for a body shot, I bring my hand underneath, and then I clamp down tight. I don't want there to be any space because I don't want to get hit. Ready, I want a body shot hook. Go. Good, you go higher, go. Now, you can do the same thing with the knee. So, what I want you to do is give me a rear knee to the ribs. Go. Ooh, good. Three. Rear knee. Body shot. Hook. Good. Four. Two. Three. Rear knee. Right uppercut. Left hook. Right cross. Bottom knee. Cross hook cross. Combo five. Nice. Speed. And power. Ready, here we go. Knee, zoom, body shot. Hook, four, two, three, five. So now that what I'm gonna do is you have to give me a roundhouse. You're gonna come down on my quad. If you're not used to this, just stick to the back. Ready, and go, roundhouse. Good, hook, good. And again, a little harder. Hook, a little harder, go. Hook. Three, two, four, three, five. Good. From here, I'm going to have you give me a body shot. Hook, knee, hook. Right? Let's do that again a little faster. Nice job. It's kind of sexy, actually. Might have to turn the camera off. Two. Or leave it on. Four! Oh, no. oh, oh. <laughs> and then 
that's why you keep distance. So if I hold for a three and I call a four and she throws a four, I don't get hit. All right, let's go. Nine hand squats. at home. Are you still with us? No editing here. We're working out with you guys. If you're not huffing and puffing, you are doing it wrong. But this is actually right now, this is the best exercise you can do, especially when you're locked down, staying at home. Oh my gosh, all the stress. Well, what if it's going on inside of you? Oh my god, yeah. It's just the best to, to hit it something. And it's even better if you have a spouse to work with. Oh my with. gosh! Just don't slow it down. <laughs> just say it, honey, accident, I'm sorry. Just pay attention, that's all. Okay, so remember, we've got that on video. No, 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 no. no she no, said, no, say no. accident, everything's okay. Oh. She picked the wrong oh, round see. to say that. All right, stop talking, let's go. Okay. Two.
Extra time here. How long do I need? Going to need math or no? I don't. I will need a math. No comments. No comments. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. Go ahead and lay down, Anetta. On your back. So we're going to work for 40, 50, and 60 seconds. You're going to have a 20 second break in between each round. Annette is going to hold my legs and she's going to bring her legs up to me. Now, my goal is to grab her legs right below the feet. I'm going to bring it back and pause and then I'm going to forcefully put them down. Again, I want you to match your partner's intensity. So if this is something that you're new at, like the goal isn't to smash their feet into the ground. But what Annette is gonna have to do, <laughs> she's taking a little extra break here. Yeah, it feels good. She's not only gonna have to use her abs to bring her feet up, she's gonna have to use her abs to slow her feet from slamming into the ground. My members absolutely love this workout. Hey. They say they don't, but I know they do. So this is a really good one. Now, this is what it looks like. Annette, can I have you move back just a little bit closer to the back? Right. All right, so now it's gonna be on her back. I'm gonna be standing over her. Now, make sure that you bend in the knees. <laughs> I got a little sweat. <laughs> okay, back to us, please. So, make sure you have a bend in the knees because if you stay straight, you're gonna go down with your partner. So, she's gonna have her legs straight, go straight. Good, now from here, come up. Now, I want to grab her feet, maybe even lift her butt off the ground a little bit, and now I want to push them down to the ground. I'm going to get to know my partner before I do this, so I'm not going to... Do you want me to go faster and harder? Uh, medium. Medium? Okay, good. So we're here. That's okay. Good. And time. Now, let's say you don't have a partner. No issue. And then if you go on the heavy bag, kind of switch around and just grab the heavy bag behind you. So it could be a heavy bag, it could be whatever you want it to be. Just grab onto something that's stable and isn't gonna fall. And then to show us what it looks like. Good, so she's coming up, and then she's going back down. Can you can you give us a demo again, please? No. <laughs> <laughs> nice demo. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the clock back on. We have 40 seconds. So we're gonna do three rounds. I'm gonna hold for Annette first. The first round is gonna be feet going up and down. Then the next round is I'm gonna take her feet off to the left and to the right. It's going to be in a sequence. Now the last round is gonna be dealer's choice. I can go left, I can go right, I can go forward, forward, left, right, whatever I want to do. But here we go for the first round. Just put the timer on. Timer is on. We're going in 10 seconds, straighten out those legs. Good. Bend in the knees if you're holding, hold strong. Hands up and go. Now remember, we're getting to know each other right now. I don't want to sit there and smash your feet at the ground. So Annette is going to tell me what she needs and what she wants. Is this good for you right now? Good. Good? I'm going to go into five. <laughs> it's an old time. 20 more seconds. How are you holding up? Good. So you want to go at a pace that is just outside your current fitness level. The goal is to force your body to adapt. If you can easily do this, then you're not making your abs stronger. We got three, two, and one. 20 second break, don't go anywhere. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Annetta's legs 
for her feet. I'm gonna go off to the left, she's gonna come back up, then we're gonna go off to the right. So we're really focusing on the obliques right now. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, good. So again, I'm going over to the left. Nice job. To the right. Good. Oh, my finger's caught in there. <laughs> we're going to be here for 10 seconds longer than we were in the previous round. But I can really see her obliques working right now. Nice job. Stay with me, guys. Good. And time. Go ahead and relax. All right. This next round is going to be the tough one. So from here, the feet come up. I can either go left, I can go right, I can go forward, forward, right, right, left, whatever you want to do. Keep your partner guessing. Here we go. shoulders up on this one. Get a little extra in the abs. I said we got 10 more seconds. Stay with us. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I'm okay. Hi. Awesome job. 20 seconds break. Where are you going? Touching ground. You're not coming. You are forcing. <laughs> okay. 
could miss any reps. <laughs> Every single rep is counting. Oh, I gotta, that's that workout, you see? I gotta admit, that sucks. Sweating. Let's go, let's go back to one. Oh my gosh, uh, you have to work extra. No. Yes, you do. Two extra seconds. That's oh, what I do. I was just doing what our members always do. I don't care right now. I'm here right now. <laughs> oh, my timing. <laughs> what did you eat? Good job, guys. Thank you so much. Um, let's go ahead and stretch. Yes, let's stretch. Why don't you lead us in a stretch? Because you're so good. I know, right? He's out of bread right now. I, right now, I'm I need to it. recover. <laughs> the same arm, but behind your back. Fingers pointed down. The same arm. I'm facing up. Oh, that was actually fun. I enjoy the ending. Same arm. Six feet. Six feet. <laughs> All right, I'm back. You back? Fingers pointed down. Same arm. I'm facing up. And relax from here. Step forward. Would you left leg? Stay on your heel. Slightly bend your right. Lean forward. Don't arch your back, keep it nice and straight. Hold it. And let's switch side. Stay on your right heel. Your left leg is bent. Good, and relax. Now from here, step to the left. Shift your weight to the left. And then hold it. Try to keep your feet flat on the ground. <laughs> or you can spin here. Or I can just do this. Slit side. Oh my gosh, wait a second. Keep doing my stretch. Fine, Ollie. Mm -hmm. You don't like my stretching. I never said I don't like your stretching. I'm just not good at it. I'm not flexible like you. Hey, right. switch again. This time you stay on your heel. You toes pointed up. Stretch as far as you can. Keep your hands down and hold. And then slip side. To the right, stay on your left heel. Oh, I think you're just being nice to me because the camera's on. She's never this nice. Oh. Even my members will say that. I am always super nice. Hey, right, put your hands down. Right knee go down. Keep that left foot still out. Nice and flat. Go down on your elbows, and then from here you're going to send your hips back a little. So you want a nice stretch on your inner thigh. Ooh, yes. From here, sit all the way down. You can keep your right leg in or out. Like a pretzel. And to the left. Did you say like a pretzel? Yes. You're so cute. Hmm. Hands forward, bring your left leg to the center, straight out your right leg, keep your right foot flat on the ground, put your elbows down, bend your butt a little bit back, and hold. Sit all the way down, and again, you can keep that foot out for and back. And bend to the side, reach in and pull. Send your butt back. Walk your hands 
forward, put your head through your arms, and then forward. Your arms move to the right. Shift your weights forward. Lay down on your stomach. Let's stretch your abs. Lift your chest up. Look at the ceiling and hold. Good. Now from here, stay on your toes. Lift your butt up. Hand like that to your feet. Bring them closer. Hold it. Turn more though. Hold it. Press your heels down. And then from here, turn your left knee and hold. Right knee and hold. Switch and hold. Do it one more time. And out. And work your hips. Up into your legs. Slowly get up. Go to the flat back. High five, babe! Good job. Thank you so much for everyone that stuck with us on that. We appreciate it. Um, again, tomorrow is going to be Annetta with her kettlebell workout. Double kettlebell. And then after or that, next week, I'm going to take over three classes during the week. And I'm going to run you through a TRX uh, workout. So if you have a TRX this is an amazing piece of equipment. Um, perfect for the person that travels. Hi, Sonia, good morning. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I'm not doing a video here. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> so, perfect for traveling. The other thing that's so great about this piece of equipment is it's one of the only piece of equipment, well, not the only, but this piece of equipment is really good at making movements easier. So if you are struggling with a push-up, this will help you progress to the point where you're ready to do push-ups eventually. It's so much better than going down to your knees to do push-ups. If you're struggling with pull-ups, the same thing. This could help you build those back muscles, still understanding where your body mechanics need to be while you're doing those things. But the other thing that it can do as well is it can also make movements very difficult and more challenging. So for example, using the push-up again, there's a way where you can put your feet inside the cradles and then you do the push-up and it just increases the level of the intensity. So if you travel a lot, we don't know how long we're gonna be stuck in this quarantine type state. Um, I suggest picking these up. It doesn't even take up that much space. It rolls up into a bag about this big. You can easily throw it in a suitcase if you do traveling. Um, and it works by attaching it to any sort of door. So um, Dick's Sporting Goods, I saw in Gurney, Illinois right yeah, now. Uh, Vernon Hills was out of stock, but um, Gurney had it for curbside pickup. So check your local sp uh, sporting stores and see if they have it. Uh, next week, I'm gonna run you through a bunch of basic movements on Monday, and then I'm gonna progress you through more challenging movements uh, towards the end of the week. So if you're new to it, this is a time to go out and get it and try something different. Um, if you don't like it, just return it when you're done, right? So, um, other than that, thank you so much. Uh, get fit. Get strong. And get tough. Bye, right, guys. Until next time. See you guys tomorrow. Enjoy your day. Thank you for working out with me. Oh, that was good. Thank you.